Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Stolen documents! Refusing to give them back, then saying, what stolen documents? Yep, we're talking about Trump again! <laughs> Aren't you Republicans tired of this hump? I mean, hell, next time just vote for a better criminal, okay? This guy even crimes lame. Look, if you read the indictment, you know that includes evidence Trump took documents about our nuclear programs. Yeah, in issues where we're weak to attack and where our allies are also weak to attack and our plans for possible retaliation in case we're attacked. You know, information that would get a lot of us killed. I'm an innocent man. I'm an innocent person. It's election interference at the highest level. So I just want to tell you, I'm an innocent man. I did nothing wrong. He's not supposed to have it. He lied about having it and then hid that he had it. He also had it while the Saudis played a golf tournament at his course. It's okay, I'm sure they didn't use the bathroom. You know, where all America's secrets are, in the bathroom, at a bed bug infested resort near a swamp. He's a criminal, a traitor, a pedophile, and a spray tan abuser. And I hear a lot of people saying, what about, what about Hillary and Biden and Pence? Emails, Corvette garage, mother's house, ha <laughs> They all had documents and they aren't indicted. What about that? Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. We here at the Armageddon Update are going to help you out, even though you are insane and currently support a man experts say is actually the worst president in the history of America. But let's compare and contrast. Hillary. She had a private server, okay? She was investigated repeatedly. They found out that the 33,000 emails, 588 were classified, but found no evidence of a crime and no evidence of criminal violation on 497 of those documents. However, the other 91 documents were deemed to have been sent to Clinton by staffers who broke the rules, not Clinton. And they were all in a secure private server and none in the bathroom or Clinton's bedroom. Then Trump's FBI and DOJ found no evidence that the server had been hacked, with one forensic agent actually saying that he was fairly confident there was not an intrusion or on her server because it was secure. But she did have a private server. What about that, huh? Yeah. What about that? Now, Biden also has top secret documents. Nope. Biden's personal attorneys found a few classified documents from his vice presidency. You know, when the black guy was president and they were in a locked closet at the Penn Biden Center. They were given back immediately. He didn't read them in bed while eating Cheetos and then have the Russians over to talk smack about Israel. On December 20th, a second batch of classified documents just discovered by Biden's attorneys in his, the garage with his Corvette. Well, actually, one, one classified document was found in a room next to the garage, which is Biden's private library. His attorneys instantly turned it over. On January 12th, five more one-page classified documents were recovered from the library. And none of these documents, none, were classified as top secret. So a total of 20 documents were found. 20. You know how we know? Because Biden turned them over. Trump had 85 boxes. Boxes. Like he signed up for an espionage subscription service. Now let's deal with Mike Pence. Mike Pence had classified documents. <laughs> but even the DOJ went, come on, Pence, just let him keep them. So to all of you, what abouters? There is no what about? What about how no one, no one in American history has taken 85 boxes of classified documents and had a foreign adversary over for golf? What about no one in America history had a son-in-law that got $2 billion from the same foreign adversary? What about? How no one in American history tried to hide or sell 80 boxes of top secret information that put our soldiers and every American life in danger. Because if those people did, those people are in jail. Like this dude should be. What about the hardest part for the DOJ was getting the documents back from Sweet Potato Hitler. And then they had to clean off all the ketchup and hamburger grease. Sorry, hamburger. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. God, what about, what about, what about we got a fucking criminal that was president for five fucking years and he fucked everything up? What about that? Hey everybody, Christopher Titus, Titus Podcast. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're listening for myself. I just want to say thanks for watching it. We've actually are getting close to 250,000 subscribers, and thank you. 
And it's because of the people I'm about to introduce with me, as always, the lovely Bombshell Ray. What's up, people? And the Highlander. And the fly. There could be only two. We are in the weirdest t- time I- in history. And I remember thinking j- January 6th was the peak. And then I watched Trump after he got indicted yesterday. Oh, there's and, no end. And I'm like, oh, it's going to get oh. worse. Oh, yeah. There's it- going to be a military. The problem is what, what he doesn't quite understand is that Biden is Irish. And go, okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead because because what will happen is i'm going to kick your ass yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right here's what's going to happen you fat orange bastard <laughs> you're, no, not, it, you're not yours, like rainbows yours was a little armenian <laughs> actually i was like what? Okay. i'm gonna send the troops down and even the troops that are with you oh we're gonna shoot them in the back of the head all right then there you go. If you let him go long enough, it'll become Asian. Just keep going. No, <laughs> I do. I I do drift. You, you do lean Asian. <laughs> uh, we Uh-oh. are in a odd position, and uh, the thing is that Jack Smith. They, I guess they did. So they did the indictment yesterday. Trump. Oh my God! <laughs> what is going on with, with the yourself. glasses? Cut yourself. <laughs> what did you just do? The thing. I've won't... never seen someone break. <laughs> He talked to me like I'm your five year old. Oh my gosh, Rachel. I mean, uh, this thing? Yeah. I mean, there's uh, always a metal thing behind me. Yeah, there's so, a metal. Yeah, exactly. I, uh, I am discouraged today, given everything. Well, yes, you're so discouraged you can't open a can of soda. <laughs> it's water. Whatever. Thank you, Dad. It's soda water to be. Ah, uh, you just put the thing. <laughs> no, just don't swallow it. I feel very like, Cro-Magnon, what we just and I should have, <laughs> I should have learned my lesson, <laughs> right? Right. And uh, but I thought for sure a, a thirty-seven count federal indictment, a forty-nine page indictment. I read the whole thing, and it's damning, as Bill Barr said, his own it's former attorney damning. general. Is he also said if half of it's true, he's toast? Uh, I read it, and it is sequenced, laid out perfectly how each one of his. Acts was a response to conceal conspiracy to conceal what he was doing as the year and a half, two years wore on uh-huh. from the DOJ. Doesn't he even say it on point. He's like, "You well, let's conceal this." He <laughs> like, said that. Yeah. Then yes, we have audio the yeah, right. of him saying, <laughs> "How about we just say we don't have any documents?" <laughs> He's such a shit. His criminal. former attorney, the, Parlatori, so fucking dumb. Parlatori is doing all of these, you know, press tour things and stuff. He goes, well, it's valid to ask for any client to ask your attorney. He's not saying commit a crime. He's asking, what about Hillary Clinton? You know, she just said she didn't have any. Can't we do that, too? It's an innocent enough question. Oh, my God. I love after all the shit. He basically won the election. Him and Comey helped. Quit. And by the way, whatever Comey says, Comey said one time, "Oh man, if I if I had anything to do with her losing the election, you know, I I, I would that would be horrible." You did hundred oh, yeah. percent two days before the election. You you said it again. You yep. dick. That being said, Trump. Uh, that after all the shit he gave Hillary, he won the election based on saying she has these emails, she stole documents, she's got classified. <laughs> See other and things now, he laid out, and now he won't. And so I looked it up. I looked it up today. I wrote the Army Get Update. I looked it up today. Hillary Clinton, there was 33,000 emails that were on her private server, right? Of those, only 588 uh, had anything to do with any kind of t- markings that she, that was a, a level of, that, right, right, confidential, mm-hmm. anything. Uh, of those, 91 uh, were f- deemed to be top secret, not top secret, no top secret, the confidential or stuff she should, secret, right. Of those, they were all sent by staff to her email. Mm-hmm. They oh, weren't even like they open. They, they were wasn't like, They were just yeah. yeah they yeah, were yeah. incoming and and thirty nine people that sent those uh, did get uh, brought in and disciplined. I think the thing to be more clear about there is that she was investigated multiple times. Uh It was reopened because Trump ran on, we're going to lock her up. We're going to investigate. We're going to whatever. Jack Smith, if you read the indictment, lays out in date order all the statements Trump made about when he was president, how we were going to honor and protect our our top Mm -hmm. secret. We were going to... prosecute anyone who mm-hmm. didn't respect that he literally changed but anyway, the laws. what i was that. going yeah. to say was um he then had his doj investigate her 
It goes on for some time. And then they very quietly, we talked about it on this podcast. It was very quiet. It was in the, it was a little article in the news that no one, no news people covered said they found no reason to prosecute. So do you guys get what she's saying? Do you guys get all this bitching and moaning about what about Hillary? She didn't get indicted. Yeah, but it was Trump's DOJ. It was actually Bill Barr and Mm -hmm. Trump's guys that investigated her. Mm -hmm. And even the people that wanted her, they wanted to hang her at a soccer game. were like, yeah, we really don't got nothing. (laughs) So when you ever, you hear someone go, yeah, what about Hillary? Well, Trump investigated Hillary and they said there was nothing there. Trump. So now, there you go. now Trump has been investigated and they found a shitload shit of things. 80, how do you have 85 boxes in it's, the shower? It's in sickening the- if you go look at the indictment, the pictures, uh, and then well, we saw, the, we put the, the timeline. The so the timeline where, you know, he's notified that NARA wants their documents mm-hmm. back. And then when that happens, he has Walt Nauta, an employee, to move all 85 right. boxes no, they, to a new storage they space. They gave him 15. Then, no, not yet. Oh, they did? You, they mo- seriously, did you got to educate yourself I, well, you I, did, I don't have time to read a 49-page <laughs> indictment. I got bullshit to write. I, I read <laughs> it Army in game. bed next <laughs> to you in about 10 <laughs> minutes. I was like... Yeah, but you're a criminal justice major. There's big words in there. Magistrate. <laughs> You're looking at like wheels Magic or something. Boxes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Boxes. That was one of his favorite things. So what I was going to say was then DOJ gets involved. He's notified mm-hmm. FBI. You know, they're, they've they subpoenaed him. At that time, once he knows they're coming to search, he then has Walt now to move the boxes out of storage into his private residence. Yes. He then starts going through every box, which is documented in t- all the evidence in the in indictment bedroom. is Holy it's not shit. from the FBI seizure. All the pictures, texts, audio, everything is from Trump mm-hmm. verbally speaking or his employees text messaging or emailing each other. So while now to text back and forth with the employees, uh, he, POTUS has gone through 15 of, of all the boxes so far. So right. we'll move those back downstairs. He's taken out what he wants. And so there that's is those, where the crime begins. Well, well, the crime began when he took them, but, but all those folders and stuff that he had, mm-hmm. he, he those that shit he'd already gone through and put aside that he was going to- That's why he, he only he, gave right. like 15 boxes because he's so dumb. He's, he's only get through 15. Oh, so he is, is quoted. So Evan Corker and his attorney- that attorney client privilege was pierced and he had to turn over all of his handwritten notes. He also made a habit of recording all of their meetings, mm-hmm. even Trump's, he would write down his facial expressions, everything. And wouldn't you though, if you work with Trump after yes. all this shit, wouldn't you be like, I'm fucking recording oh, everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm taking pictures. I'm gonna have a camera on my shoulder, matter what the head. <laughs> Oddly enough, he still represents him, I think in the uh, January 6th case. But anyway, so- Well, he can't find lawyers now. So he's recorded multiple times, and this was his favorite part of the whole thing, of saying, my boxes. I don't want anyone going Mm -hmm. through my boxes. I don't don't want anyone going through my boxes. Don't go through my boxes. I don't want, where's my statement? No one can move my boxes. No, 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 don't don't, don't touch my boxes. No (laughs) no one one touch my boxes, please. He's like, when did he rain man up like that? I totally get it. Totally makes sense that he's like that. Those are my boxes. So he had been building those boxes. My boxes. During the time he was in office. They said that he would start a box and fill it with top secret documents and newspaper clippings of himself and pictures and letters from other leaders and then close that box. And that's how it became such a big number. Was he looking to just create like an eBay account? And just like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. Who what wants to know about do? the nuclear site? <laughs> Soda 69. Bid. First bid. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> 45 badass. Wait, dude, this has got to be. Why does he have all the nuclear sites? Um, yeah, I read an interesting article from... Um, uh, s- uh, from a, a, an independent paper in Florida said that they knew somebody that worked on the staff and um, actually knew somebody that worked with uh, Trump uh, and said, and I don't know if this is true or not, it could be made up, uh, basically said that he was so fucking pissed after Jared went and negotiated a $2 billion deal with Saudi, because people don't remember this, but Jared Kushner left the White House probably nine, 15 times to deal with Saudi. He was in Saudi mm-hmm. a lot. Mm-hmm. So they gave him $2 billion. When Trump was so pissed, Trump thought, that's my money. I, I should totally be getting see that. that. Yeah. Yes. And so that's why when he left the White House, he's like, oh, I'm going to get my money too. And he actually uh, took all those boxes. Uh, what may, And so here's the thing. There's pictures, people. I know you've seen them of 80 boxes stacked in a bathroom. Now, these, 
Now this isn't this isn't our studio. Where that happens here. <laughs> well, first, yeah. actually, <laughs> divorce papers are yes, up there. Actually, still, yeah. I went through them. We We're still keeping have them. those for the kids. Actually, first, um, the boxes were stacked. You can go look at one of the pictures on the stage in the ballroom. The yeah. stage where no one looks under yeah. the lights. Where for selling tickets. They for estimated tickets. To go see it. during that year and a half there were 150 events like weddings using mm -hmm. the ballroom. There's just file boxes stacked on. He's you can't take white trash out of the boy, man. So so he did all that. These are uh, when you look at the indictment. The indictment. The, Ray was reading the indictment. It's crazy. It's not like he had top secret documents from the 1960s. Not top secret documents from the 80s, 90s. He had top secret documents about military operations that were currently happening right. and, in progress. And he yeah. was like, Millie wanted this war. I don't know. There was a troop nuclear, map. Troop yeah. map. There was um, Kid Rock. What do you, what should I do about sites, this? Lists of uh, CIA agents. Uh, lists mm -hmm. of uh, 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 like embedded people. How what our uh, battle plan it would is planned to be in response to we got us being attacked by China or Russia. Holy so shit. so I wonder how that could help one of those countries uh -huh. if they knew what our response to their attack was, was going to be, be in yeah, advance. You think that's, they might get maybe ready. That's for? why I don't understand why people aren't freaking out about this. Well, because the, what they I think you have to put it into this would kill so many of our troops and so many Americans that were just here because they knew how we were going to react. I wish people understood that this guy, this is, I mean, if they can get him under the Sedition Act, well, I guess that's a January 6th case, right? They can get mm -hmm. him under Where we just saw two of the fake electors leaving. So this is Jack Smith Two two gangster points yesterday. He is super gangster. The first gangster point was that reporters watched him and reported that he stared at Trump through the entire 45 minute hearing. Not just angrily, just not inciting, just mm -hmm. casually stared at him. And Trump never looked at him not one time. He watched his back as he walked out. Watched him the whole time. Gangster point number one. <laughs> Gangster point number two. Simultaneously, while that hearing was happening in Florida, the grand jury in D.C. convened and two of the fake electors were seen leaving from testifying to that grand jury about the January 6th in Jack thing Smith's that case in DC. Wow. And these were the fake electors that all that we found out that had they had been contacted by people at the White House about the fake elector scheme so he could win the election. I do feel bad for Jack Smith who had to just keep his eyes on Trump's well, face. For that long. She's she, she was going to be an attorney, so he would do that not for intimidation. He wasn't mad dogging him. He was like, I want to see what he reacts. Yeah, his, I his, think his, also it's he's not intimidated by him at all. Hmm. You know, you can't the make Hague, eye or, contact with what, someone that you're intimidated he does war criminals he's like so i think he's watching him to see how he reacts yeah. the whole time but also he's not scared of him and he's the guy he's there to see yeah. trump never they said never looked him at him once then trump goes in truce the yeah, truth true, true. Oh, he was he's so scared of me he wouldn't even he he's a coward he was shaking <laughs> he's he was so afraid of me. He was he's, shaking. oh my god it's like dude <laughs> uh, like but I wish people would understand that, like with this what about thing, we, Ray and I were really upset about it because I went through what happened with Biden. They found zero top secret documents in Biden, zero. The entire document count between the office, good cap. Uh, Did you get it? Nice. <laughs> the, the entire top secret document count uh, was none on Biden. Mm -hmm. There was five documents at the Penn a Biden Center mm -hmm. that were from when he was with Obama. There was uh, uh, was various others. There, no, there's five or ten more. It, it, in total, in total, documents that that were classified in any way, shape, or form. Twenty. Period. All this information you've gone far too past soundbite because uh, well, they don't care about the the, well, the difference. Yeah, but the difference is there was no top secret. There was no nuclear secrets. There was I'm no military. The, the, so let's be clear then. All right, uh, Biden, Hillary, and Pence. No top secret. Nothing classified that would that would involve American troops or us dying in a nuclear blast. Trump, eighty five boxes of that shit, and they handed that's them. The difference they cooperated. They cooperated. Well, that's the yeah. initially that's the main oh, thing. Oh, they called that, his oh, lawyers right. called his lawyers. That's go, the difference. Hey, that's got the main thing. All, that's all you need to know. The right. reason that we know that they have top secret documents is because they're the ones that notified the DOJ, their aides or their attorneys or both. 
notified the DOJ. Then both of them opened up their private residence yep. and office for FBI search, which happened. Yep. That a year and a half in, the FBI had to raid Mar-a-Lago. That's what I'm saying. You know, you went in, there was no. How come there was no raid on Obama, Pence, and Hillary? Because they said, they "Come in. on in and look." Hey, yeah. Hey, can I get you some coffee? <laughs> yeah. Who wants a cookie? The well, Girl Scouts just dropped out. Nah, fuck it. Look where you want to look. <laughs> Trump was like, uh, "Nothing's here. Sorry, nothing." SWAT those had to come in. Those, yeah, exactly. Yeah, helicopters yeah. coming in. They had a guy tunneling Fucking in. Fucking red dots on him. <laughs> And so when they keep saying why is it, it was just the same. It's not, and then McCarthy, you know, Kevin McCarthy, the longer, I, I'm glad he got bumped up to speaker because you really get how dumb Kevin McCarthy is. He says, bathrooms have locks on them. Uh, garage doors go up and down all the time. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? First of all, that's like flipped kind of, right? Well, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like it's part of the house. It has an alarm system on the, the garage, garage door. Usually, Plus yeah. his vet is in there. So we're you know, the vintage, damn, yeah. we're the vintage Corvette in it. You know damn well. They didn't find that, by the way. They and they weren't in the garage. He keeps saying that. They weren't in the garage. God damn it. They were in his office that's next to the garage. They weren't in his garage. Meanwhile, he's from Bakersfield. That. Nobody has locks. And they're, <laughs> or if they do, they're all busted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bakersfield where there's bars on the windows. Yeah. All, yeah. Uh, there was a great Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom is just winning gangster. my heart these days. Another gangster. Uh, he first, he's, you know, proposing a 28th Amendment to deal with guns and says it has to start somewhere age, and he's put age, out a petition and it's yeah. starting in California. Um, uh, I mean, uh, ARs, universal not AR, available no ARs, to civilians. Universal backers, yeah. Yeah. It, it would actually take it down, yes. So Kevin McCarthy tweeted back, you know, something about, you know, how about you focus on your business instead of trying to be a presidential hopeful or something. And Gavin Newsom instantly, he called him Governor Newsom. He tweeted back, hey, Kevin, doesn't even call him, <laughs> yeah. hey, Kevin, how about you focus on how your city, your district has the highest crime rate in the state of California and you're doing nothing to fix it. Mm -hmm. Something that yes. was so, nice. so it was That's very how you use Twitter. That's how you use Twitter. Then damn it. he did an interview. You should call with him Bakersfield Hannity. Kevin. I'm going to call him Bakersfield Kevin. Then he no. did an interview with Hannity oh, that this was is so just. Good. It was if you guys haven't seen it, you should look. You it guys up. look at so so Newsom. Here's what I love about Newsom. Newsom, uh, Buttigieg too has this. Where mm -hmm. he, I don't give a shit. I'll go anywhere. We'll talk about it. I'd rather meet the people that are against me yep. and see what we can change hearts and minds than I am to just go go to the people that like me, which is great because that's not how I do comedy. I'm going to the people that like me. Fuck everybody else. So <laughs> but um, of course, everybody likes me. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Next the, show is in Nashville. <laughs> the reality is is that Newsom sits down with Sean Hannity. And Sean Hannity, which we know from friends, uh, we, we've been told is not the smartest man in the world. Sean Hannity starts going, um, like everything's coming apart. The economy, he goes, the economy's coming apart. Uh, uh, um, uh, um, inflation's at a super good gas prices. And Newsom just, just he goes, stop, one at a time, let's mm -hmm. deal with him. Mm -hmm. You said it, let's deal with it. Yep. And he just barrel just bullet see, point by bullet and, point. And, but then Hannity tries to jump in. He's like, stop, stop. We're mm -hmm. gonna, if we're gonna have a conversation, yeah. let me finish talking. It was so good. And Newsom doesn't play. Uh, Newsom is Newsom's really a good soldier too. He handled the. He's backing up Biden, and if he runs in twenty twenty eight, yay. He handled that type of interview like a fucking master. Like with the Hannity was trying to cut him off. Yeah, and he was trying to yep. bulldoze him. We'll put a little bit in here. Put a little bit in. Here. Yeah, and he just just he backed really up was. the fucking utility trucks. <laughs> yeah. It was just like, oh uh, no, I oh. got all these bulldozers. That's the, yeah. That's the one thing with facts, though, is that whenever yeah. and the problem is that here's what we've lost on the other side. We are we have the facts. We're like, okay, listen, this is what's really happening. Gas prices have dropped over a dollar since they were at the peak. Uh, inflation is coming down. We are still, as Ray pointed out, uh, we are we're lower than the rest of the world. Gavin Newsom kept pointing it out he, too. That, this was brilliant. He goes because he was talking about inflation because that's one of their hot button talking points, mm -hmm. and he starts spitting out percentages and and how it's decreased yeah, per since. country. He's going, and country. then he goes, and actually the UK and France and this and they're all way higher than ours, and then. And Hannity cuts him off and he goes, you, you can't, you can't even bring that up, you know, whatever, because he goes, that's, um, wait, hold on. First, he was talking about unemployment right. and jobs. And first Gavin said, he goes, post COVID, he, he goes, well, he gave the he goes, he goes 12 point so million jobs. He goes, that's post, those are post COVID. He said numbers. highest gonna go than all three, last three Republican presidents well, then, combined. Well, yeah. he did the, he and did the Hannity, math. he did. And then Hannity goes, that's post COVID. 
you can't say that because that's after COVID. So then they were he, talking he, he about just, inflation and well, Gavin wait. goes, but Sean, that's post COVID. Why are you saying I have to factor in COVID and yet you won't allow me to do that when it comes to inflation? Right. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, uh, well, but he said about jobs, he goes, all right, good news. He goes, all right, all right, let's say it's post COVID. Trump lost 3.8. <laughs> There you got it. Oh my How God! How do you do that? Good, good catch. And there's also like a cherry wait, with, wait, a, wait, with wait, a That's a call. That's a callback. Uh, <laughs> the God, you didn't swallow it. That would have been horrible. And now we're gonna do. We're gonna demonstrate the Heimlich on the podcast. <laughs> so he goes. Uh, uh, Twelve point. We have a metal three detector in here. Goes, Those are post COVID jobs, Gavin. And he goes, okay. Trump lost three point something million jobs, and he does the math. It's like so. That's still nine, yeah. almost ten million jobs added. And, and he was just. Ah, hold on. They're not going to have them on. Shuffling papers. More, yeah, they're not going to have them on again. A higher number than the last three Republican <laughs> presidents combined. combined. It was like, oh. Right. Phew. If that, that doesn't define it, then And that's will. when people get all mad at me, though. Oh, you fucking lip I'm like, guys, I, I'm factual. I've checked my taxes. I make more money under Democratic presidents. Uh, and you will, too. Uh, just look at the history. I, I do better. The, uh, the people Every around time. me. Every time. The people around me do better. Uh, mm -hmm. Hungry people get fed. And I still make more money. How is that possible? It's because they run, they're not, because they're not bitching about trans gays. They're not bitching about that immigrants. You know, they actually understand that California, by the way, you want to eat because we need those people to be able to come across the border and work here because the, because white people won't do it. So when, when I look at people that are trying to fix shit and have solutions, it's the Democratic Party. The other party's getting you mad that they're going to take your guns and, and you should hate people that sing show tunes on a Sunday brunch with their, with, for parents. I, it doesn't make any sense to me. And so I'm just pragmatic. What works? What doesn't? These fuckers don't work. These guys do. I'm going to go with these guys until they stop working. And then I'll switch it up again because I'm not a moron. Which defines the um, the whataboutism is that they're, they don't come to – they're not defending Trump. They can't. They have nothing to right. yeah. to defend, they're, so they just point they're, they're, yeah, they're just not, like him. Right, exactly. They're not saying he didn't do it. Yeah. He's saying now. At first, they did, and then if you remember, we should go to everybody's Twitter because it's probably been scrubbed clean. That said, the FBI planted documents. Remember the series oh, yeah. of excuses. Oh, yeah. It wasn't true. He didn't have mm -hmm. them. He wasn't notified. Then they show mm -hmm. the notification. Then they show Christina Bob said there were no more. Then they show the raid. They probably planted them there. Then, it, I mean, it's just like, so now we're at, he did it. He was allowed to do it under the Presidential Records but Act. But what about? Which that isn't in the, pre the Presidential Records Act is all about preserving records after a president leaves office. He's just saying that right. though, which Makes um, it sounds like Stephanie he has the Rule right. said last night his people aren't going to go look up the presidential records. Act. You, you know what the it sounds official. Do you right. know why the presidential records act was enacted? Do you know why? Because Nixon wanted to take a lot of shit from his office. So it's actually the when he keeps saying it like it's a thing that I get my presidential records. No, motherfucker, it means you don't get them. What I was saying was the point being that we all know that, but those people that he's speaking to, and he's really genius about this, they're not going to go look up the Presidential Records yep. Act to make sure that what he's saying is true. So now they're all tweeting and putting on Facebook Presidential Records Act, yep. and it's not a thing. It's not part of it. And what he does- it was to stop you from taking records. Correct. Was, well, how, I'm just trying to explain it to the dumb people, sorry. How he, and he knows how to yeah, sort yeah. of corral those dumb people. Is because mm -hmm. you. I have recently noticed this: is that he speaks to them as if he's putting his the their words in their in their mouths. Yes, which which is why he refers to himself in third person. He also, you know, he's like he's reversing. You all he, know, everybody knows. Yeah, everybody's saying, and, and they're like, yeah. oh, and okay. we, we many people. We, we we're gonna we're, win. We're, we're and yes. he's like many people are saying many people. He used to refer to himself in third person, so they can, so he's making training them to say it. makes me insane even they when he know does that. even they know. Yeah, it's yeah. it's us and them. Mm -hmm. Us. I'm with you. I'm pissing on a gold plated toilet while I eat hamburgers, mm -hmm. but. Mm -hmm. We're the same, mm -hmm. and I love you. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be caught dead touching you, or in a in a room alone with you. I love the poorly but educated. I love you. <laughs> I love the poorly educated. I love the poorly. educated. I love you very much. Because You're very the special people. Do you know why he loves the poorly educated? Because he they send him money. They just start writing. Thank checks. you for his plane, everybody. Yeah, man. Wow, good job. He's created his own oh, Air Force One. Oh. It actually is painted to look like Air Force One. But you know what's bigger than the flag on his plane? Come on, you can guess. Uh, his hands. His, his name. name. Oh, no, his, no, his hands oh. are never bigger anymore. Okay. <laughs> um, Trump. It says Trump massive down the front and then the American flag in the back and it's red, white, and blue. He's got we, his own. Can we talk about how he was treated? 
Let's talk about we it. can, but we should first say that this episode is brought to you by, come on, it's perfect because you flexed for me in that shirt today. And I said, I hope we have this company today. Oh. And you were like, this shirt looks like a medium now, <laughs> even though it's a large. You don't have to say everything we say to each other. Look, what ha what's said in the bathroom while we're getting ready stays in the bathroom while oh, we're getting ready. Great, it's Put a great in the boxes. ad, FitBod. So if you compared, yeah, if you went back. Now you got to sit up straight if you go and back, flex. If you go back seven uh Seven months, and you showed a picture of me in a short sleeve shirt. Please, and noodles. I'll find some noodles. Make him tiny. <laughs> <laughs> what a big head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Fitbot. So I have now. I was going through it today, and uh, and my workouts have gotten really consistent, and and I'm doing four days a week now. And I have to be honest with you. That, that's without the Taekwondo workouts, uh, or like I did the bike the other night. Um, it has changed every. I mean, you. I mean, you see me with my shirt off. Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> I don't get, but it has, right? It's different. And if Things, I don't, he makes sure I do. Yeah, and you know what else? And is, he always does a Fitbot ad every time he does. <laughs> every night he comes in from the shower and he's like, babe, am I crazy? I'm not crazy, am I? But Fitbot. And I'm like, it's, I'm living in a Fitbot ad all the time just, now. Just hit your phone and it, get a little, I a should, little clip. I should. And what's interesting is that, it, that, that Fitbot, out. so you put in, so you basically, uh, I started doing things. There's... And I was talking to my son, Jet signed up for it, Jet, and so Jet has been doing it. I'm saying, I said, dude, use this. I'm telling you, do it. And he goes, well, I don't have weights. I go, no, no, no. I go, just do the body weight. He, so yesterday we were doing Taekwondo and he goes, I, I go, have you been doing Fitbody? He goes, yeah. I go, I go, body weight. He goes, yeah. He goes, how about that leg body? He goes, I couldn't walk. He goes, I couldn't walk the next <laughs> day. Mm -hmm. I was like, exactly. So they've, they've, whatever they've done, they hey, figured I out how much you need. Um, mine now is started amping up because I'm getting it, it'll give me stuff and I'm you know it, it'll, it'll say at the end uh, was that hard enough for you it'll give you like five you know it was about the, about right too hard too easy so whatever. let me just explain really quickly so Fitbod uses AI and so it's basically it's like a workout instead of holding a map to go on a long drive you're now using Waze or Google Maps Fitbod uses AI and builds on every workout. It retains that information and gives you kind of a workout brain. So how has that changed your goal from when you started to now? Like it what keeps up in my weight. <laughs> it keeps up in my weight. Is it and yelling like, at you now? At one point, I'm like, come on, man. Like, like I saw, I was doing, uh, I was doing arms and I was like, as the buys came up and I, and I looked at the number of the weight because it gives you, it'll give you the weight you should be using. And I'm like, I haven't used that before, but it had tracked me for the last since January That's and awesome. was like, it's now time to go up five more That's pounds. Insane. And so uh, if you had a workout band and that's all you had and a five pound dumbbell, you could put that in. You don't need anything. Yes. You don't need anything. Or Even, you could put in what you have. You could you so let's say you just have a Bosu ball and and 30 pound dumbbells. You put that in and it'll 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 give you a workout for that. If you have that's nothing, cool. it, I did one outside when we were at grandma's grandma didn't have anything, and I went in the backyard. And I did a body weight and I was dead the next day. I was dead. It's interesting how you, I didn't think about that, but you end up in situations that aren't your usual routine, like us going to be with grandma. So you don't have to stop working out or challenging yourself. You just tell it that you now only have this yeah. and it will. It's got a switch where you can just go body weight only. Yeah, so let's weight, say yeah. wherever you, you just go to it, body weight only. And anyway, guys, uh, I will tell you this. Uh, you should get this. I'm not kidding. I use it all the time. It has made a huge difference in my life. It's making a difference in my son li son's life. It, it's and it's changed my body it's t now i will say this uh you have to be consistent that's what i've learned tony horton was telling me that i told him tony tony been saying that you five to six days a week gotta work and i'm doing four and my body's changed in six months and i can see it's going to take a year but i'm going to look great in six more months not that i don't look awesome now thanks fitbod uh, <laughs> <laughs> he loves fitbod you guys should try it <laughs> And let us know how it's working for you. So wherever you are in your fitness journey, whether you're beginning or you've been doing it forever, like Muscles McGee, get oh the most God. out of every workout with FitBod. That's you get 20% off your subscription at fitbod.me slash Titus. That's F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash Titus. You know what I like about it too? Is that when I, it gives me the 10 exercises or whatever you can, if you want to build muscle, that's one thing. If you want to get lean, lean and trim, it still builds muscle, but it makes you the other. Whatever you pick, and it gives you the right. I, I don't have to think about it. Yeah. I just go to the next thing, and I yeah. just go to the next thing, and then I'm done with that thing. And it's broken up into supersets. So every time I finish three, I'm like, oh, thank God, I feel accomplishment. Mm -hmm. It's there, it, it's 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 also helping my dopamine levels. There you go. It's working out helps everything. Mm -hmm. 
It's honestly, it's yeah, it does. so many, mm, <laughs> so many uh, of our advertisers. There are like caveats at the bottom because of legality. Don't make any claims. You know, mm -hmm. this changed this. This made me feel happier. This whatever, but Fitbod doesn't have that because. It actually does exercise. Yep. It's proven scientifically proven that it affects every aspect of your life, including your happiness. Yeah. Exercise is one of the first things that helps depression. I don't know. I'm just like, yeah, I was going to go to that too. I've had like uh, family members ask me like, which I'm, you know, I'm hel helping me yeah. work, work through this, this issue. I'm like, are you working out? Are yeah. you exercising? No. Like, Gotta start, start there. there. Yeah, yeah. drink, start drink there, more then... water and start working yeah, out, yeah. and then let's talk. Yeah. Go for a four mile walk. Just yeah. walk. Yeah. Well, that sounds daunting. Even some people can't, but but just getting to a place where your heart rate is up a little bit and mm -hmm. you can feel your blood flowing. It's the weirdest thing. How addicted you get to that feeling. Yeah. Even when I'm feeling bad, because I am all the time now with allergies, my mm -hmm. face looks like a softball. I, <laughs> it's. Uh, an old <laughs> Rachel lumpy Puffer fish breast. <laughs> um, when she gets scared, <laughs> <laughs> just under just my like eyes. <laughs> and but I still, even feeling bad every day, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do something yeah, because go, yeah. it's so addicted. Mm -hmm. Anyway, sorry, that was my PSA on working. I still, out. I still, I do the burpees, but I hate the burpees. I love the burpees. I, lo I, I what about I human makers? Do you like human makers? Oh, what's a human? Is that some opposite you, of a widow maker? What is no, that? No, that's when kind you like of. do a burpee. You stand up, you do a backflip, you you juggle fourteen balls, and you do another burpee. Then you go that's one, and that's one. So it's crazy. <laughs> so that's if you select. I have no body weight. Yeah, exactly. So you <laughs> put the weights down, jump your legs back, do turn them around, renegade <laughs> row, renegade hey, row, hey, hey, push up, pick a bale of cotton, jump your feet. <laughs> In, <laughs> then clean the weights onto your shoulders, land in a squat, then dumbbell thruster straight up, and Pull then up. start all over. That's one. That's every move you can possibly think of. A human maker. Ah, it's making a ah, human. I see. Say thruster again. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Slowly. Fit Bod. <laughs> Stupid Fit Bod. Uh, so anyway, I, I think that this guy, I don't, what bothers me is I want to talk about this. Let's talk about how he's been treated unfairly. The man oh, took five limos from his resort to his own airplane. They let him do this. Reality winner got arrested. Mm -hmm. uh, Snowden had to live in Russia now. Um, there's five, there's, there's five or six other, I was looking at He it. didn't like those. Well, we put it up. I put it in the Armageddon update. There's five or six people that got three documents, sold one document. Mm -hmm. They're in jail for 19 years. It this, was, those were older limousines. Those were not <laughs> yeah, those, the, the top of the they, line those gold are, plated. Those are nine. Those are, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, <laughs> those are 2019s, man. Man. <laughs> so then he flew his own jet. They let him drive there. Then they let him bail out. Mm -hmm. He's fucking. He had every favor. He's been given exactly. To him. He has no, such a long leash too with this whole fucking process. They didn't even take his passport away. He can get on his own plane and leave. The fact that he is not in jail already. He, right? He's, anyone else would have been arrested. Yep, exactly. My niece uh, works in signals intelligence and has a top secret security clearance. So does her husband, and and she said some time back, even before we found out all of this, what it was just by knowing some of the classification markings on the documents. She said that her sergeant said to her, man, Bradley, we'd be under the jail by now. We wouldn't even have a trial. It would, you, it's so bad. I've never heard a villain that was also like a complainer, like a whiny little, you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's 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 like, that, like, well, Mr. Bond, <laughs> so this did not end how I thought I it I do was. not like the way this suit feels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I believe that we need to, but he won't He's get going to, back to his summer home on his jet. Yeah, that's how bad we're He's fundraising him. off of it right now. Mm -hmm. The only condition that he got was that he can't discuss the case with Walt Nauda, who's still his body man, body who, man who, of course, of course, they're not going to discuss it because he's shown himself to be such an upright citizen. Can we talk about this too? I don't quite understand why this guy hasn't flipped. So there's an article because uh, this guy, this guy's in deep shit. Because to be clear, Trump's an ex-president. Like him or hate him, he's an ex-president. This guy is just a fucking dude. This dude mm -hmm. is going to go under. At what point? How long? What's the bet? How long before Trump goes? He did it. Oh, uh -huh. how, how, how 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 far do we? How what did we? Three months. But but there was no crime. In. So what, what's he no, can't point he to it now? He keeps saying he did it now though. He keeps saying I did it. I did it. 
So, but I, but the Presidential Records Act, which is an I'm act, an innocent that was, man, that was written for another criminal named Richard Nixon, who they wrote it so he couldn't take documents. <laughs> who, who that's the whole point of the fucking president. Who Rick. resigned to avoid being indicted, right, for the one time? Well, he was already out though. What's he going to do? I'm, I'm now now it, now. Oh. Someone said there was somebody said recently. What if he said, I'll never run for president or office again? And I still think that's bullshit because then he'll just use his money to put the next, to put, to put, you know. Oh, yeah. A he'll just say like Putin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bullshit. Go to jail, motherfucker. So at the same, so Letitia James, there's a crazy article on the main page of MSN.com. I'll tell you about in a minute. Okay. Um, surprising. Uh, he, at the same time, Letitia James came out, the AG of New York, and said that she would have to put a pause on her case because she's set to go to trial in October for the Trump org $250, $250 million case, um, civil case. Mm -hmm. She said that would have to be put on hold waiting for this federal case. But then Fonnie Willis in Georgia said, oh, no, it don't. And she <laughs> That's said exactly how she said it. it it's coming sooner than she first anticipated. And we now know that Fulton County police and sheriff's department went to New York and to Miami to watch both indictments so that they could plan for their security. Now she hasn't released who's being indicted, but that kind of tells us who's being indicted, yeah. doesn't it? Although she said multiple defendants. Well, and then, so Ray went down the list of like, uh, um, Sydney Powell, um, Jenna Ellis, uh, uh, Giuliani, 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 maybe Lindsey Graham, maybe Lindsey Graham. Cause he like, called Lindsey Graham got involved. Oh. Why the hell did Lindsey Graham get involved in the Georgia? The South like, Carolina Senator understand. was calling Georgia's same. Yeah. Count, give me more votes. Like yeah. I don't understand. And, and that they've had that they, they, we just, Ray just said, we just saw two of the, uh, alternative electors. Sorry. Fake electors, sorry, criminal electors who actually were trying to overthrow the government of the United States. Be clear. I love when people, these Orwellian words people add to shit. No, those alternative electors were literally committing treason mm -hmm. trying to get the guy who got the most votes to not be president. That's what they were doing. I wish we would start speaking fucking clearly. The problem is criminals don't like that. It's a lot easier to couch uh, their crimes in language. That sounds like, okay, Presidential Records Act. It's for the president. No, it's to stop the president from taking shit like you did. You fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe it was Herschel Walker. Uh, you know. Uh, by the way, you got to do you know how happy Herschel Walker has been since that's been over. Herschel Walker's been naked in a hot tub, just yeah. eating popcorn right. and drinking. You know damn well he's like, oh, I can't believe you. Oh, he's watching vampire. <laughs> yeah, I was say, <laughs> trying on wolf, wolf <laughs> hats. I'm watching werewolf wolf costumes. Movies. I love werewolf vampire movies. <laughs> Oh, Herschel, go to street. Go to street. <laughs> that would have been I, fun, though. I forgot that. You know, I tell you what, I'd rather be I'd rather be a vampire than a werewolf. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I forgot. By I way, was telling him. We're so, it's so weird. What baffles me, if you've been watching and reading some of Trump's truth social, let's just call him tweets. Uh, he he's insane. He's out of his mind, Yo, and he's five years old. He let's call it tweaker. Can he's we call it tweaker? five. Let's he's call it tweaking. Tweaker. He's been tweaking. <laughs> he's five years old, and he also has a learning disability. And he's tweaking in all caps about all kinds of random shit, like Jack Smith's shaking. He's so scared of him and stuff. And he tweaked about uh Attorney General Barr. Former Attorney General well, Barr, who, who he hired, who you can right? look he's at like, his this guy's old a coward. tweet. You what? can look at his old tweet about what an amazing guy he is and how he's leaving in December, but he's done such a beautiful job for the country. To this now, he's a loser, has been. He's mad because he was fired, and they don't care. And only by reading those, you could not speak the language. You could not know what a Democrat or a Republican is by reading those instantly. Common sense. I talk about how we don't have common sense anymore. Would say, oh. God, that guy can the, never run he's a country. Crazy he's shit. out of his yeah. mind. Yeah. We should probably get him evaluated. Like something's mm -hmm. wrong. And these people love it. That would be interesting if you took like if you took fifty of his tweaks and you put them he put them in with no names and had just an independent psycho uh, psychiatric doctor look at him and just go, this guy is obviously. I bet you they could nail exactly who and what he is. This uh, should be that's a game show, right? Like <laughs> guess guess the tweaks. Yeah, yeah. Guess who tweak, said yeah. this? Yeah. Uh, Trump or not? Yeah, Trump or not? Uh, we I forgot all the, I, the werewolf vampire stuff. 
people, do you realize the world we've lived in in the last six years of it's shit insane. that we, we're so used to the craziest shit he raised that would than, seem weird on a Breaking Bad episode? He raised more than $2 million yesterday at his Bedminster speech. They've raised $4.5 million online since the federal <laughs> indictment on Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. Uh, two million of that just last night, 2.1 last night. He Be left there. He went to Versailles, which is sort of the Republican stopover. It's a Cuban restaurant in Florida. It's where they all, when my sister was just in Miami, that's where she sent me pictures from. And so that makes sense. Um, and they said that he's really shoring up the Latino vote. In the meantime, on latina radio or latinx radio they are they said that the propaganda pumping out in spanish on his behalf is out of control higher than it ever was which is how it, that helped him win the election to begin with wow people during the civil war times would look at us and go wow you guys are really you guys are really divided from, and crazy people from the south in yeah, the yeah. Civil War times, be like going, y'all crazy. Is, yeah. Oh well, the House y'all y'all going too far. <laughs> Still <is> interesting. <laughs> the House has voted to reject that Republican resolution to Good. censure Adam Schiff. Good. Twenty Republicans joined the Democrats. Thank this, God. This is cracks. This is cracks. Okay, so basically there was a there was a, a case. There was a, a a piece of legislation put forward. They were going to charge Adam Schiff sixteen million dollars and censure him in the house because he's the one who was in charge of the second impeachment that basically congress is trying to sue itself do you get that congress is now passing legislation <laughs> to sue itself holy shit <laughs> who put that forward it gotta be bobert uh, guess who just threw their hat into the ring who the miami mayor francis suarez the guy we saw speak yesterday had a drink for president also from uh -huh. florida the mayor of miami the, the guy we just the cuban american we just saw speak about uh the, security on monday the mobster looking guy yeah the guy i said who obviously wax uh, has his eyebrows done oh my god that's gonna take the cuban Do you know vote. man this bro level of guys who think they should be president now is just insane to me he's gonna be pre he, the mayor of miami is trying to run for president but that you Pete Buttigieg was a mayor. I mean, that doesn't did, disqualify. No, I'd love for president. you to have a little more. I mean, Obama had how many years experience in politics? Not many. Two. Yeah. yeah. What What are his? But he's, he's brilliant. What are his accomplishments and his accolades? What I don't understand. Hey, what can, hey, gives him the? He hey, can salsa like nobody's business. Oh, why you, why you asking so many questions? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best debate prep. Back. Hey, why are you asking so many <laughs> questions? Uh, it's a debate. Hey. Hey, Fox News I'm ran talking. a. It's a debate. No, I'm talking. <laughs> and then. Fox News uh, yesterday also ran a Chiron at the bottom that said, wannabe dictator tries to have political opponent indicted. Which Stop. one? Who do you think Which it is? Which one? Who do you think oh, wannabe geez. dictator? Who do you think, wanna, who do you think, who do you think Fox is talking about? Wanna, they said wannabe oh, dictator Fox is saying this? tries to have his opponent uh, uh, jailed. Newsom. No, they're talking about they're talking about Biden dictator. They're talking that Fox News was calling Joe Saying Biden had him a dictator. Arrested. Had had ha, has his opponent, his political opponent, arrested. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck, man? Fucking so a reporter, <laughs> a reporter called uh, during the press briefing yesterday. A reporter asked Karine Jean Pierre about that about them saying that and she responds well there are about 787 million things i can say about this that was wrong but fox news live coverage cut right before she answered so now they're being trolled for that by the way donald trump turned 77 yesterday and everybody's saying biden's old which biden is old but donald trump is also Oh, well, so, well, they're calling Biden uh, a Boss. dictator, but he's but he's tripping and can't remember things. Do you and know what I think we should do? I think we should. Yes, yeah, he's a mastermind. He's, he's a, a political mastermind. Dictator. mastermind. Wanna be? Master he wants to be a dictator, dictator. but he can't point. remember anything. Making, making moves to have everybody arrested. Great, point. but can't. But he can't got walk dementia. down the fucking yeah. But can't walk. Which one is it? Well, that's the main. Why don't you have that's a the main Dennis. article on MSN today? Basically, calling him a vegetable. I'll get to that though. This episode MSN. brought. Speaking of vegetables, brought to you by HelloFresh. Yay. <laughs> Vegetables. I don't know how that worked out perfectly. I'm perfect. I was like, nice. which, which, which nice. one? Which one? Oh, <laughs> vegetables. Hello, Fresh. You have to try it. Just try it. If you don't try it, you're an idiot. End of ad.
here's how good, here's how good <laughs> HelloFresh is. If, I, if I'm coming, leaving the studio and I'm, I'm whatever I'm doing, I come home, babe, I'm on my way home, I'm picking up for dinner. No, I've got HelloFresh. I'm like, yes! Yeah, but what do I always do? Which one do you want? It's yeah. because they're all just as easy to right. do mm -hmm. and just as good. So I'll pull out. But I'm, it's hard to I'm read it. School. It's I hard to decide. It I is. Don't, <laughs> I don't <laughs> QR code. I pull out the full color cards they give you yeah, and I same. lay them out and I go, okay, which one do you want? This, this, and you're like, what? Yeah, yeah. I don't even okay, know what they all look good. We'll save the burgers for Saturday yeah. night because yeah, that's a special that. night. <laughs> and tonight we'll try to be healthier. So we'll do the chicken, whatever. Yeah. HelloFresh is so fun. You can go and pick out your recipes. You don't have to get what they give you. You go every week. You can do it several weeks in advance. Flip to next week, brightly colored, see mm -hmm. all the information about every recipe, select those. You can even add extra if you're like, oh, I only do three meals a week for two people and you see something else you like, it'll say add this whole bag for this meal for eight more dollars or mm -hmm. something ridiculous mm -hmm. like that. And it's, it's farm to table quality. They, you can also choose like, if you want to be healthier, that's something if, if you're a pescatarian, if you want, you know, family friendly meals, things like that. We do. I think we do family friendly fa or family. Well, yeah. Well, sometimes it's so good. I go, is there more of this? And you say no. So we started going to the, to the four. Meals. Okay, that is my new. That's, <laughs> that's my new trick. All in one, in the <laughs> yeah. same night. And yes. then you cook them, and then you got some for the next. He doesn't. He eats it all. Oh wow! He eats all four. I go wait because he just got the four serving ones last time, that and one. I said you ate all. Mm -hmm. all of them. Yes, one. Because why it the, the whole family. I'm the family. <laughs> <laughs> Just do a Ken you're setting. Fam you're a family size human. <laughs> Here's a hot dog, Wyatt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Daddy's having dinner. Uh, so that's our trick for the two of us. We do the four meal selection. So then if I want a little more, I can have a little more than I have some more the next day. And yes. then we have, I love, it's one of my favorite things to then for lunch, have a beautifully laid out, mm -hmm. you know, with sides and everything for mm -hmm. my lunch. I don't have to think about that. And it's healthy. Usually what I choose is the healthiest and it's 25% less expensive than if you order takeout. Love that too. Don't have to leave your house. Love that. Don't have to pay for gas. Love that. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Titus16. Use code Titus16. You get 16 free meals plus free shipping. HelloFresh.com slash Titus16. Promo code Titus16. You get 16 free meals and free shipping. It's not just cheaper. The food is better. It's it's yes. insane. It's better. I would, it's a be we have a couple of takeout places we like that are the healthy and good. And still, HelloFresh kicks their ass every time i don't know how they do it they they win the prize for the company that you will look at whatever it is like sometimes i forget to choose and they pick three for me and i'll get them and i'll be like oh i don't i don't mm -hmm. really know if that sounds looks pretty but it's i don't usually eat ground pork or whatever and it's the most insanely good yeah, thing i've good. ever eaten they have expanded what what we cook with you yes. Know, lemon lime zest, anyone makes everything better. Mm -hmm. They have expanded what we eat. Mm -hmm. They have expanded our cooking ability. They, they, yeah, they've made it so I'm not afraid to jump into cooking. Yeah, yeah, it makes now. it so much easier. Yeah, right? I'm, yep. I, before I was like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to F this food yeah, up. Yeah. And they're now all uh, quick, all mm -hmm. easy, but they actually have a subsection called quick and easy if you're thinking, well, I don't have time to cook. Yeah, you I do. Get it. Uh, can we talk about uh, what we're going to say? America's MSM. number one meal kit. MSM I wrote an article about Biden. Yeah, so it's a guy, it's an op-ed he got on the cover. They put the dumbest looking picture of Biden looking like a dementia patient. Here's the opening sentence. President Joe Biden is a bizarre mixture of incompetent and insane all in one. He's incompetent because everything here in the U.S. is falling apart. He's insane because even as everything here barely holds itself together, the 46th president continues his undying support for Ukraine. It goes on to how he's... Let's go through. Stands with Ukraine. Let me get to it. Went from a dove to a hawk on Russia, then goes on to put alleged charges that he accepted five million dollars in bribes from the head of Burisma. That they have documentation and recordings of the head of Burisma they talking to Hunter Biden, giving him five million. This FBI document that Comey um, right, supposedly. Comer and Jim Jordan that they're trying to get supposedly this FBI doc document says that 
Biden got a separate and additional five million dollars. Okay, so let me. So my, here's my question, and this has happened. Remember the Hunter Biden laptop that that was actually sent to Tucker Carlson, but Tucker Carlson, I shouldn't have shipped at UPS. What? Oh, yep. no. they lost it. Remember that? Yep. Uh, what about this? Uh, all this this Hunter Biden laptop shit has been going on, right? Every time we have evidence, we have paperwork that says Biden did this. Where is it? Do How you many years have they been saying that? Uh, 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 since Forever. five. So Jim Jordan, who is the most obnoxious ridiculous uh, uh, uh member of congress mm -hmm. wouldn't he wouldn't he do this i mean he, yeah, there, I don't know he, there's right. a lot of there's a lot yeah, of right, right. wouldn't he wouldn't this already be wouldn't there be screenshots of this document everywhere if this were true yeah what what, what let, me, let me ask you if this is true why are you holding off but let's go down biden's little accomplishments let's just go oh i how, know how crazy we no, don't no. we have and we do every week i, I, know, but, I was just saying but why the why that it's this guy write this article? stuff like this that there is no proof for no nothing to mm -hmm. back it up and he doesn't list any of these accomplishments that are so e i mean historic yeah, yeah. Like, historic yeah. legislation like the chips act Low and the inflation, rate. Reduction, mm -hmm. inflation Reload, reduction yeah. act, mm -hmm. things like that. Gun legislation. Mm -hmm. I mean, historic. Bipartisan gun legislation. Bipartisan infrastructure bill, yep. things like that. So you can't deny, you know, the jobs, the unemployment rate, but well, they the do. the highest corporate profits. So, so how this guy have... writes all this and they put it on the cover of MSN.com. Right underneath, you can click on a hyperlinked article. Donald Trump is starting to scare everyone. So we've got all these people giving their opinions 24-7 in it's a 24-7 news cycle. It's what the internet is. Uh, the internet, as good as it is for being, uh, to being able to access any knowledge ever from the beginning of time, it's also made it so a lot of misinformation can get out all the fucking time. MSN's probably- By the way, us included. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're probably trying to get a little of that uh, leftover Fox, you know, What's traffic. MS what is MSN? What is that? It's um, it's a place I always will go during the podcast to look for news, msn.com. There are links. Uh, they are right. Are they a right wing outlook. news site? No. No, it's very lefty. So why would this guy? So why? That's is, what I'm so saying. I think article, I just I, watched Biden. Here's how I can. This watch. article I just clicked on is another article by someone else, another op-ed that says Republicans by now should be tired of the in, endless amateurism exhibited by Donald Trump and those around him going on about the recordings, how we won't shut the F up. Uh, Amateurism, but, but it's every. You mean criminal? Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so many opinions, and that's right. Social media. Everybody has an opinion, and mm -hmm. it gets a massive platform. And there's no facts. Like, what's you don't the have guy? to have. Do you know turd burglar, you, cat burglar? What is it? Can we say about this show though? Because because uh, there are little podcasts. We have a, we have a podcast. We have a podcast. We have a podcast. Uh, I just want to point out that we like there's been times I've wanted to write something based on my opinion mm -hmm. and I've gone to the Armageddon update because here's how it works. I stay home. I get up in the morning. I start writing on Wednesday because I've, I've noticed I used to write them earlier, but mm -hmm. then the news cycle so incredible oh, yeah. that yeah. now I wait till the morning. I'm like, now what? And yeah. even then, I, we even do that, yeah. it on Wednesday. It comes out Friday morning. Yeah. And, it's and then I go. So I try to push old. it later. So I write and sometimes I have an opinion in my uh, in, in my body that I, I'm going to write this. And as I'm writing it, I'll go through and I'll hit 10 different sources about what, and especially if it's wrong, if I'm, if my opinion's off, it's not based in fact, I'll go look for, to, I'll try to back to myself it. up. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, I'll try to find that I, is this, can I back this up at all? Cause mm -hmm. the joke's funny. <laughs> Which is, uh, and I'll, <laughs> Joke and I, bias. And if I can't, I literally have to change it. Yeah. So we, I even write this thing based. I don't just make shit up. Right. Let me, let me I, I would love to have this. I would love to see Biden and Trump in another debate. Here's why mm. you watch when you watch Biden, they ask Biden a question. He's I'm, yeah, he's old. Granted, he stops and he goes, well, the reality is our allies uh, in Europe need us to do. That. And he'll give you an actual answer. Mm -hmm. Trump's like, well, the people that we like are very good, they're very good people, people. And people. we're going to do great things for great people because they're good people and we love them because we're great. Have and you he, seen what? that? And his name, Jack Smith, it's such a is such it? a nice name. That's a such weird a name. His it's wife a is a nasty woman. Yeah, it's Man. like, right. what Hoax. are you talking and about? Yet, yeah. And yet when you keep talking, they keep talking. Again, I'm looking for it now because I've had a lot of people say, oh, Biden's losing it. Biden, And I'm going, what are you talking about? I, and, and, I, and I go, all right, am I, am I, miss, am I missing something? God bless him. He's a little doddering, but inside that aged body is a brilliant mind yeah. with a lot of experience. Well, but also, also, yes, we have to admit the man is 80 years old. Let me ask you who else you want in there. Now, 
Uh, uh, Gavin Newsom. Agreed. That's, but that's the only guy right now because Gavin Newsom has the balls. He's got the brains, uh, and, and and he's and he's literally doing the right thing. I don't know how like, people bitch about California. People, so many. I keep hearing this. So many people leaving California, and uh, we had about one hundred and eighty thousand people leave California last year mm-hmm. in a state of forty six million. Thank God. <laughs> well, first of all, go. Cal- you can't hang in here. Go. Oh, that was that before he mailed out checks to everybody because mm-hmm. we have so much money. He doesn't have an account big enough to hold it. Was that before <laughs> yeah. that? Um, I just want to be very clear about this as well. 23 greater Miami residents voted to indict Donald Trump. Not Biden, right. not Merrick Garland, right. not Jack Smith, it was not, not liberal it, media, it was not, not a Democrats. Right. It, it was 23 Miami residents, which is shocking because Miami is red. Yeah. So yeah. 23 people did their job. The last indictment, Alvin Bragg, mm-hmm. was it Was it the Alvin Bragg indictment where one of the members of the grand jury had the hat in her car, said, I left my MAGA hat mm-hmm. in my car to come in here today. And she voted to. And I mean, it's like people are doing their job as citizens yeah. of the United States. Well, all, all of the Trump appointed um you know judges and you know people the doj they're all they're the ones executing this these these cases I, it's I, not a witch hunt Eileen cannon's uh both of her reversals were done by a very conservative court mm-hmm. two out of three were appointed by trump and yep. can we talk about this you kept saying this now you, you have a criminal justice. yes but really quickly holt can you remember that thought yep because this episode is also brought to you by, by Liquid IV. Yay! <laughs> Liquid IV. Again, two of them yesterday. I was man. I have. I, I drink this so much of this. I, you ever got? You got concerned. You, you said I was drinking too much, and I looked it up. No, I'm not. I don't know. I just like to make sure. I'm trying to keep the old man around. I just got the, the, the liquid IV helped. Over. It's got all how many? It, what's got all that stuff in it? Everything you do. That's I just right. want to make sure. <laughs> make you're sure doing too you're much of everything. Okay. You you definitely are. You will overdo. You're you you do. You're big. an overdoer. You do bigly, very bigly, mm-hmm. everything that you do. And that's why I have a podcast. Liquid IV is. I don't honestly think that I could live without this product. No, not anymore. I. If I travel and I forget it, I usually keep it in a go bag we that I fi- leave we'll in my fi- suitcase. We'll go find it. We go find it yep. because for me with this level of sinus and allergy issues, mm-hmm. uh, for me personally, it makes a big difference in that. I'm not a doctor. I don't know why. I know that I get a really bad sinus headache and I think, oh, and probably linked to me being dehydrated. I drink liquid IV, a, one bottle of it, and it goes away. So here's what it does for me. I'll, get, I'll be up here writing or something. I'll get tired. I get that weird burnout. And at the end of it, you know, we get that burnout like at 2.30, 30 mm-hmm. o'clock. Oh, yeah. And I'll be like, I know I have a liquid IV. Totally different guy. Mm. Uh, uh, with all the working out I'm doing, uh, cause of fit pot, I use it all the time. Yeah, Great for constantly. I would tie with Taekwondo with my son. We're doing now. I, I use it all the time. I, it, I feel if I think about how I felt before I started doing liquid mm. IV and how I, how I think now it's, it's totally different. And it could everyone be everyone I've had try it. Everyone, my whole family, they steal it from our house this, now when they come over. Yes. But my whole family keeps it. Even my dad, my sister, mm-hmm. my sister to get through COVID had the tangerine immune support one on her nightstand and mixed it we we always do it in a big starbucks cup with water and add the sparkling after some guy wrote in and was like you gotta tell people you can't just add it to sparkling water well no shit i thought people knew mix it with water first then add the sparkling after and you get a fizzy delightful refreshing drink it's really one of the most delightful but that's how she got through covid um They have a new flavor, strawberry lemonade and sea berry. They're always doing new things. I tried strawberry lemonade last weekend, a little vodka in it. It was quite delightful. uh, Did did you see they're coming out with sugar free? Mm -hmm. They are. Wow. I've seen some teasers about it. Um, so we'll talk about that next next week. Okay. Um, but it has five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. It's got three times the electrolytes of like a regular sports drink. So you got to tr- just trust us. You got to try it. So many ways you're feeling, especially as we're going into hotter months, have to do with being dehydrated. Have to. Have to. Have to. Real people, real flavor, real hydrating. Grab your liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco. Huge bag. We have. 
those two. Or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code Titus at checkout. That's 20% off anything when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code Titus at liquidiv.com. Do you know what I love about our products? I, 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 I don't, I'm not a big fan of advertising, period. I'm you not, drink the probiotic kombucha one too. All the time. I am. I, I. I actually have gone to the point. We have so many envelopes. I just reach in and grab whatever there is and whatever ends up in my hand. I put in the drink. Um, my favorite. I love that every single one of our still... ads are stuff we use and that I like. Yeah. All like, great uh, Father's Day gifts too. And pick yeah. any one of these. Yeah. Hello Fresh. Yeah. Uh, Fitbod. Yeah. Yeah. Be... yeah. Do you know what I actually know? Shite just did for my dad for father's day he doesn't know how to listen to podcasts i signed him up for butcher box they don't advertise with us yeah, today that's great but mm -hmm. he i thought you know when your dad gets older he's harder and harder to shop for why are you looking at me and he's <laughs> intensely he's impressed, like, what are you, Jack Smith? he's when impressed dad, by different <laughs> things i would have said daddy if i was talking about wow you. nice uh he's Fitbot, impressed right. by different things my dad is he was blown away by harry's an entire yep. case of it he is going to be blown away. He's been asking about Butcher Box forever. He's going to be excited by meat. That's well, where my dad is well, now. Well, this is awesome. Last Father's Day, I sent him three bags of this liquid ID with another gift. And um, he loves it. He uses it every day. He works out on you know, his I sent him a crate farm. of Harry's stuff. <laughs> Well, he appropriated <laughs> he that. <laughs> They're like, boop, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Boop. He stole. Uh, Eileen that. Cannon. So I don't understand because so Eileen. It was so surprised when I heard this. So the, who's taking on the Trump case? Eileen Cannon, the same, oh, the yeah. same judge who basically said when they found all this evidence, she, she's she's already shown her bias, and they still put her in charge of the case. How is that possible? You're a criminal justice. How would this happen? So the clerk. What said did they that put your name out a, of a hat? Yeah, basically, it's a Are you serious? random. Isn't that a conflict of selection. interest? I don't understand. A hundred percent. And well, everybody's saying she should, she, should saying recuse. she should recuse, but she didn't last time. So I'm guessing she won't again. But maybe she will just because it's just I would do it because it would give me an out from one of the most uncomfortable, horrible cases I could ever have. But narcissists don't do yes. that. She's obviously a narcissist. Like I get to do the one case yeah. from a president of all in the history. Gets her name America. etched in history. I was yeah. listening to the news on the way here and Glenn Kirshner was on and someone else. And, and he was saying she should recuse herself, um, that she's unqualified. hundred percent. Uh, well, you know, she, so then this woman responded and goes, I disagree with Glenn. She's qualified because she's been an attorney. Um, she goes much like you, Glenn. And so she has that experience and her mentor is a guy that almost Trump almost put in to replace Scalia. So she said, so she has mentors and just what? because she didn't, her rulings before didn't agree with you. And he finally cut her off. Thank God. And he goes, I'm not talking about that. He goes, I'm talking about lawlessness mm -hmm. that she twice had orders reversed and she was admonished by her bosses in the higher court who were appointed by Trump for not following the law that they, she actually didn't even have jurisdiction to make the rulings that she made. It was illegal. They said you, you didn't even, the ruling she made was against the actual laws on the books. So that's yeah. concerning, yeah. you know, outside of who she voted for. Yes. She was seen hanging out at Mar-a-Lago disqualified or not. She actually went outside the scope of the law to give him a favorable ruling and help him delay. The worst thing she can do in this case is drag it out, which is all he loves. And, That's also, what he wants. and, and then she's not in trouble. She can just go, yeah. well, due yeah. to the fact that we have to do this, we have to, I need to give the lawyers six months to yes. look at this. Then I need to give them yes. another six months. So now we're at the election. Oh, well, we can't, it's not we legal to do it during that. We Once, can't do it. And then if so he then gets elected, he pardons himself and he's done. Al Capone was a great tipper and uh, <laughs> Hitler was a great painter. Mm -hmm. No, he wasn't. Um, oh, he wasn't. Yeah, he, he wasn't was great to his dog. Um, uh, so he was uh, Caligula was a great uh, 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 massager. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so this is what weirds me out, and I brought this up to raise that. So Hitler, Hitler did uh, um, the 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 Reichstag fire that that happened. Hitler Say that clearly. Reichstag fire, uh, uh, the beer hot putsch, whatever they call it. I'm, I'm probably mispronouncing it. Um, they put Hitler in jail. Say it in the right voice and it'll... Well, he said, they put the Hitler in the jail for the five years. And then Hitler got out and they said, Hitler, don't worry about the Hitler. He's horrible. Then Hitler 
wait, why is this Hitler getting popular again? What's going on with this Hitler? This Hitler guy is, I like this Hitler guy. And he made de- Germany great and again. And he destroyed Germany. The lion Five press. years after, they'd, he's already a clown. They made him a clown. They put him in jail. He was a loser. He wrote Mein Kampf, came back five years later and destroyed Germany. We are on that path. If you, I, when, when Eileen Cannon got, got put as a judge, I was like, oh shit, this is, this is horrible. It's almost like, it feels a little set up ish, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, doesn't definitely. It feel like a little set up ish. Mm-hmm. Like how they randomly pick the judge that this happened one? to, yeah, that happened to give him that the already favor- favored him. The right. good news is if she makes any rulings, but maybe she'll be really smart about it, uh, then Jack Smith can appeal it to the Second Circuit, who has already admonished her and reversed her. So I don't know. Can it go but, to the Supreme but Court? But delaying it on her calendar. Cause let's look, but let's look at the let's look at the timeline of this. Let's be let's be the pundits that everybody else is, and then we got to wrap it up. So Eileen Cannon says, "All right, we, he, they give they let Trump go longer and longer." J- Jack Smith goes, "You can't do this. We we, we actually because Florida has a speedy trial law, you have to have a speedy trial." Rocket docket. Rocket docket. Because um, we like to rhyme shit. Um, I like so it. so let's say the so what's the next the circuit the, above second. her the second circuit says, "Okay, we have to speedy trial." Trump's people appeal it to the next. Uh, can they appeal that to the next? Because if because he's also got a majority. He's also put a majority supreme conservative Supreme Court. Yeah. So this he's is already all, lost several things before. I know, uh, in fact, is, Supreme Court. Let just me finish. This is all set up it. for him to get it to get him to be president again. Of course, he would need but the I'm, votes. What I'm saying is, we've had a couple instances where the last whatever it was, the Supreme Court didn't even hear it. They just threw it back down. Remember what was that? The, the, the best thing that can happen right now is the, is for Americans, conservative Americans, to go. L- listen, guys, I don't care that you're conservative. I really don't. You have your ideas. We have our ideas. It's fine. I don't care. We're still Americans. And and if if someone attacks us, I'm going to be fighting next to you. That being said, to get smart and get somebody that is at least, I don't care if you have conservative values. Not crazy. Not Jordan, not Bobert, not but someone like one of these guys who's like go. I don't like this guy's idea, Liz Cheney. I mm-hmm. would have hated Liz Cheney's ideas, but I'd have been like, all right, at she, least you're it's reasonable. She stands for America. Yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah. I know. At the end of the day, yes. she thinks she's she's not doing the same thing, so she can make money off Saudi. And all the people around her aren't using her because she's so dumb right. to yes. tear right. the country down and make money. Or I ju- whatever. I, right, exactly. I don't. I don't mind. I don't really don't mind uh, uh, ideas right and left as long as I can sell the ideas trying to help something. What I do, uh, what I do, does piss me off. And why is that? When you say you're going to cut taxes, and our debt is, you're bitching about the debt that you guys ran up four trillion or seven trillion. Sorry, during Trump, and then you're so you bitch about the debt when Biden's president. Then you say we're going to cut taxes again, but didn't you just bitch about the debt? How do we get the debt down? When, when the only thing that Trump actually accomplished was he cut. Taxes for the rich, yeah, the absolute rich. Eighty-five percent of all the tax cuts from the from the Trump's tax cut went to people uh, millionaires. Yes. Okay, so the Supreme Court in February twenty twenty refused to hear uh, the case to remove Biden from office and reinstate Trump. They also, th- there were a bunch, uh, they, this was October, uh, they rejected Trump request to intervene in documents case. Remember, they put out a one sentence dissent, right. giving no rationale and saying- It actually said, uh, no. It's just that saying- was, that, that, was yeah, that was the sentence. Yeah, it was embarrassing. That was the whole- it's a, It was the latest in a string of cases in which it dealt Trump a legal setback. Uh, this was when he was trying to- with the special master they landed the court's order uh wait hold on there was another one january for instance supreme court refused his request to block the release of white house records held by nara concerning the january 6th attack there's a whole list of things where they denied in 2020 supreme court ruled he had no right to block release of his financial records to tish james in new york they basically said no one okay. was above the law. Well, there's a bunch. So I'm saying let's not count that out. Maybe there's a point where, and let's hope this is true. Maybe there's a point, because there was another Republican came out today. I was watching the news at home and came out and he was just like, he goes, he goes, we have to face the fact that this guy 
had papers that told our military troop positions and our plans. Yeah. He goes, we have to yeah. face the fact that I don't care whether you're Republican or not, that, that we have to face that this guy's not doing what's best for the country. That's the silver lining here is like there's a bunch of like high profile Republicans well, that are that are pointing. They're saying, OK, this is pretty, this is damning Wall Street Republicans that are bankrolling Chris Christie. So big, big mm -hmm. money people that are By the way, putting money into having someone be a mouthpiece and call out all the bullshit that he's done. This episode also brought to you by uh, AG1. 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 I well, love this stuff. I do it every day. Yep. I had some yesterday. Love it. It's It tastes good. It helps my body. I love it. I like it in the morning on an empty stomach. You can do it whenever. So actually yesterday I forgot. So I was about to go work out and I wasn't feeling well. I, w I haven't been sleeping at all. I've been having insomnia. My like life is awesome. Crazy. You've been fun. You've, you snore peacefully like Chaplin is right now. <laughs> uh, but yesterday I was like, well, I need to work out regardless, a short workout. But I had no energy and I thought, oh, I'll have AG1. And it actually works. Yep. I did a boot camp amazingly enough mm -hmm. i was like wow uh it helps with my gut health it helps with my mood it helps with my energy i think it helps with my skin mm -hmm. i think that's made a big difference um i just feel better i just don't have that in my uh, i take it whatever you know you get that weird after two cups of coffee after two cups of coffee you get that weird kind of that j i get jangly I, I, jangly is what i'll call it it <laughs> takes my jangly away by the way, that's not their ad. <laughs> hey, G1 takes the jangly. Takes, my j takes the jangly way. By the way, everybody knows exactly what I mean. And that just would never say Men that. Men are like, I like my jangly. What are you talking about? I'll no, take my that, jangly away. Not, not that jangly. So you, that's a dangly. That's a dangly. I, what I love about wow, it is to, you don't have to take all that crap. I was taking zinc every night and different things. And then I stopped and I looked. I actually looked at what's in it. And realize, oh, I'm already getting my right. daily allowance right. of these things. I don't need to take all this crap. AG1 replaces your multivitamin, your probiotic, and more just in one simple drink. You take a scoop, you put it in water. I take the dropper of D3, put a drop or two of that in there, shake it up. Dunzo. Don't have to remember to take a bunch of crap. I just go into the pantry and grab the D3 and go blurp. And then I know. I can't believe. I didn't know you were doing that all this time. Yeah. I put it in your AG1. I don't know. It's it's a good it's a it's a good life upgrade. And I just have an overall feeling of health yeah. and energy. And you're not jangly. <laughs> it's anti-jangly. It's right? anti <laughs> anti-jangly. So if you want to take ownership of your health, you can get this that we're talking about. It's got over 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods. Go look on their website so you know what you're putting in your body. Yep. Uh, if you want to take ownership of your health, try AG1. Get a free one-year supply of vitamin D that you can drop her in your mouth or into your AG1 shake. And five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com slash Titus. So this has changed. So if you're going now and you haven't gone before, drink AG1, the number one, dot com slash Titus. Check it out. Uh, again, I got to say our products, we use all of our products. I love that. I, I never feel like I'm selling something. You're not just hawking yeah, something. No, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, we use all this stuff. Uh, guys, uh, we are going to be touring again. We're going to be in Nashville coming up. What's the dates exactly? Are oh, so we have some new dates. So you yep, guys got to go dates. check out ChristopherTitus.com slash tour. Highlander's been putting stuff up. I don't know when we're releasing the audio of this one, but... Uh, Friday morning. We are. Mm -hmm. It is going to be Friday. So the ticket link that I sent you today for Center Stage Atlanta... We haven't been in Atlanta in a long time. A lot of you guys have been asking for that one. Center Stage Theater, it is going on sale in like a day and a half. So it may have been released by the time this comes out. That's on the website. So Atlanta, Knoxville, Bijou Theater, haven't been there in a long time. That's coming soon, next couple of days. Louisville, Bombhard, another one you guys have been asking for. Lexington, we're coming back to. But Nashville in a couple of weeks. Mini yeah, Minneapolis is on sale for December. That show, I can't wait for that show. That but show. 23rd and 24th, we're going to be in Nashville at Zanies. I want to go early to Minneapolis because I want to go see Paisley Park. Oh, I do too. That would be I, fun. I, I want to go. We should go a couple. That days would early. be fun. Yeah, I want to. I want to be able to. Talk Have you never that. seen it? Have you never been there? Man, we. we it's funny. We've seen we, video we, tour. But we go into Minneapolis and we leave, and next day, and, right. I, and and every time we get there, the the guy knows that we're. I'm a huge yes, Prince fan. I would. Uh, yeah, I, I would know. Think. And he I'm actually out every said time. he won't 
let us book the theater again unless yeah. we commit to taking an extra day so he can show us the club, which yeah. is mm -hmm. a couple doors yeah. down from the Pantages Theater, yeah. the um, oh, yeah, you First Avenue. Go. First Avenue, yeah. Um, and Paisley Park. Yeah. I just want, I want, I, I feel like it's the, it's, I feel like it's going, it's, it's like going, it's my Israel. I need so, to go. <laughs> That's your Mecca. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So back in the <laughs> day, the when we first started going to the Pantages Theater, Prince was doing jams Saturday night at Paisley Park that would go all night. And yeah. we didn't even do that. I know. And then he We died. weren't invited, actually. But no, yeah. you can. It was just you buy tickets oh, that's right. and you go. Buy a ticket, he that's would right. open up that part of it to the public and then sort of float out. Well, he had his own soundstage. <laughs> Every once in a while. Physically float out. Yeah, float yeah, he out. Yeah, he could. Just... They said sometimes he would play. Sometimes he would say hi to people. Sometimes he would just hang out. But yeah, we didn't ever do that. Uh, but anyway, so Nashville, Zanies, the 23rd and 24th, only those two nights. And I did then see him live four times in my life. The very next weekend, July 1st, one night only, it's a Saturday, two shows only at Levity Live in Oxnard. So those Josh, are yeah, coming go up. Go see that guy. This new show is, uh, is um, and Ray's too, man. It's it's like you, you're going through uh, something you're not seeing. I don't, no one's doing what you're doing and nobody's doing what you're doing. And then uh, the two weeks after that, Omaha Funny Bone, that one always sell all three yep. shows sell out. And I don't think we're going to be able to add another one because we're, we're going to start doing the um, sleep. meet and greets again, too. And then the very next merch. weekend, Funny Bone, Des Moines, one show only. That's a Friday. Funny Bone, Kansas City on Saturday. So go check out the website. And I'm sure you remember all of this, but I know you you can't. So I go to ChristopherTitus.com. I don't remember if I say something close to that. And one more thing. Uh, go to Christopher Titus TV. Uh, Zero side effects is up. I watched. I watched the first ten minutes again, guys. I I am I am not one to toot my own horn, but I am pretty but good. Do, do it. Do, do, do. <laughs> it's a good special. It is a really good special. <laughs> <laughs> good. I have to edit that. <laughs> it's a really good special. Yeah. All, all a lot of your specials are up there, so you guys can go get Almost some free over. entertainment until he comes to your town. Um, With the new one, Carrie Monsters. Carrie Monsters. Oh. But definitely Nashville, Zanies. If you guys are close by, make the drive. Guys, That's do me a favor. Go fun. to uh, go to Apple TV. Get uh, get Highlander's album, uh, Misanthropics. Uh, I heard the new single, man. I like oh, it you do. Oh, yeah, thanks. I like it. You have this you this thing you drop into. It's pretty funny. Not funny, funny, weird, what but is funny. It? Like it's just the way he's saying. He he just got this mean. It's like this mean, tough. There's something about you when you're singing that I'm like, oh shit. I am mean and tough. Nah, <laughs> I know you are. Yes, you are. Who's that tough guy? Yes, I'm mean. mean and tough. It's really good, guys. Um, <laughs> and thanks for uh, uh, watching and uh, thanks for listening. Uh, we will Go be watch Alpha Chick too. It's Alpha on Chick. Oh, it's all on Amazon. Go Google Play, Tubi, Amazon, everywhere. Go watch it and leave it a review. So is Amerigan. Of course, everything else is up on the website too. I think we're going to do something because people like, have some people complaining that on YouTube, you have to watch with commercials. So you're going to be able to uh, download all my specials again for a couple bucks, whatever, uh, if you want them commercial free. Okay. That'll be on. You go to ChristopherTitus.com. We're going to put that up. Ken just went, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of editing and website. No, 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 no. no we just got to put it up. Uh, guys, uh, thanks for listening and uh, watching the Titus podcast. Our subscribers keep going up and we really appreciate it let people know uh that we always tell you the truth and we always sit here and we scream sanity constantly uh help us out with that so we don't end up talking about the same bullshit for the next four years or having a civil war for myself the lovely bombshell ray in the high <clears throat> oh first of all i forgot i forgot i forgot and people, you know what it's time for. It's time for Highlanders Fun Facts. Highlanders Fun Facts. It's Highlanders Fun Facts. Me hey, and Tough. That, that was kind of the closest we've ever got. That Wrap was it. pretty good. Wrap it. That was pretty good. Go to uh, Highlander.com uh, for <laughs> raps. That's not a website. That's not a website. It is <laughs> as of today. Speaking of. <laughs> and now it's always, <laughs> speaking of something we haven't been speaking of. Marshmallows. <laughs> Nixon. No, I got you. Uh, I got uh, you here. Presidential Records Act. And oh, Father's Day. Nice. All right. Oh. See how I'm tying. I'm Nixon tying and two. That's a weird one. Nixon yeah, and Father's but, Day. But you didn't know it until just right then. Yeah. I, I'm so like reading it right Father's now. Day. Okay. It took until 1966 for President Johnson to make a nationwide proclamation endorsing Father's Day 
across the country. What year? 1966. So I just nobody, want to point out. Nobody cares about dads. People okay. say man, men are like, men run, men run shit. We didn't, so we didn't even get Father's you're like, Day. We don't need a day. What, what, there's a day for dads? Yeah, you're right. It's been so hard for you. Know, it's been men. hard it's for been white men. Horrible. Okay. Yeah, thank you. We are thank oppressed. They, we just lost rights to control our own bodies. No, but no, no. You guys, we good, need a day. You guys should point. get you know, chocolates and some yes. grill spatulas. <laughs> Congratulations on that. It wasn't until <laughs> the Honorable <laughs> President Richard Nixon signed public law, blah, 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 that Father's Day was permanently recognized by the federal government. 1972. Wow, I didn't realize it was that. That's yeah. crazy. It's that recent. Is, that is an unfun fact. I'm kind of bummed out. <laughs> that is fun to hear, but that's like a, it's not really it's a fun. Fact. That's a, wow, really? Sad fact. No, I, I guess I guess men run things forever, so they were like, why give them another day? They already get Monday through Sunday. Well, I guess women had nothing, so they got a day, right? And like Mother's whatever day, it was, right? 1620, which is- We have to and talk then, about this one then. The next time, we, talk about, I, we have to talk about that. We're used to it now. But you're right. Women's rights are just being, t our fucking rights are being taken away again. Oh, yeah. They're just being shaped away. You know? I mean, and, and not just women's, all voting rights, everything. We have to stop it. Well, the voting going rights, away. that's um, black and brown people. Yeah. They're, they're yes. also yeah. not, you know, really looked after Yep. by that party. Hmm. Hmm. But, but we're here to help. Thank you. We are. Let's we have a this. podcast. Let's do this. <laughs> For myself, the lovely bomb charade and the Highlander. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Later. Peace out. Oh my God. There's like a moth on you now. Uh. <laughs> oh, you got you it. You got him. <laughs> oh, very good, Daniel Sonda. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, don't like it. Uh. I have a strong no kill policy, but a moth near a cashmere sweater, I'll take oh, your yeah. ass down. Well, up. Don't miss You didn't fashion. say um, there can be only one. There can be only one. Thank you, God. No, I felt weird. I couldn't I walk did too. away. <laughs>